Seniors, seniors, seniors filling out that form. Seniors, seniors, you only have to fill out what you want the spring sports program to say about you. Seniors, just write on that form whatever you want the spring sports program to say about you. You don't have to fill the whole thing out. Totally up to you. Whatever you want that to say. All right. Let's roll. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. Y'all ready for a new track season this year? About to get started this year. We got pretty much the same coaches as last year. We're going to have that same mentality that we had last year and transfer it to this year so that we can still build upon the success that we had last year. Now, right now, we're going to go ahead and get started with our um, informational meeting today um, and start with an introduction of all of the coaches that we'll have on the staff this year that will be working with you guys day in, day out, answering any questions that you guys may have about the sport and about the knowledge about your specific events. And so, for, furthermore, we're going to have Coach Naramore come up and introduce everybody else. What's up, fellas? Uh, we are very fortunate to have a very large coaching staff, and I'm just going to take a second to introduce all of them to you. One, so you can put a face to a name, but then two, also, if you ever need anything, you can come to any of these coaches. Even if you're a distance runner, you can come to the throws coach. If you're a thrower, you can go to a sprints coach. If you ever need something like, I lost my tights, or I lost my jersey, or I can't find blah, 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 just find any coach. Uh, so obviously right here we have head coach, Miss Pippen. Uh, we have throws coach, Coach Cooper. We also have Coach Angel, if you guys know her. She's in alumni and development, and she's also one of our coaches. Uh, we have Dr. Cirillo, Mr. Russ, and we'd like to welcome back Coach Bassett as our three distance coaches. We got Superman over here. We got Big Swellich. Uh, and then myself and Coach Perry, as well as Coach Perry's son, Knox, who I'm sure most of you guys know as well. Um, he works with the Belmont pole vaulters and also working with our pole vaulters. Um, so, like I said, guys, that's your coaching staff this year. If you have any needs at any time, any one of those coaches will be able to help you out. And last but certainly not least, the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Pruitt, who knows everything there is to know about anything in track and field. Sanders. Uh, my whole thing that I was going to say kind of changed. And the reason why it changed, the coach said, he said a specific word. He said this, he said mentality. And the reason why I love track is you got to create a mentality that you're not going to take no for an answer. And I'm going to give you an illustration. Last year, you know, the four by one, the four by two, we didn't have the fastest guys. We didn't have the most talented guys. But we had a, a mentality that every time we're going to come out and we're going to compete and not just compete, but be the best that we can be. And then also, too, it didn't just start when we when we came to the meet. It started in practice. It's kind of like this. I'm, I'm trying not to scream and yell, but not get excited. But it's kind of like whatever gas you put in, that's the that's the, the furthest you're going to go. If I put cheap gas in, then I'm going to go a sorry place. But if I put the best gas in then I'm going to go a further distance. The reason why I shared that illustration in is, is what you put in practice, you listen to the coaches, that's how far you're going to go. And the reason why I shared that 4 by one and 4 by 2 is because we had an attitude of we're going to kick somebody's butt. So the reason why I share that, and when Coach said mentality, is we got to have a mentality from start to finish. And that starts by listening to the coaches, you know, listening to instructions, and have an attitude of expectations. And I'm just getting to a point to where I'm trying to be Mr. Politically Right, but I hate losing. Do y'all understand that? We got to have an attitude that, yes, we go to NBA. We can't just show up, but we got to have an attitude and a mentality that when you get on the track, I'm kicking you in the teeth. That's that kind of attitude we're going to have. So I'm Coach Sanders. I do sprints and all that, and this is ready to roll. Good morning, um, Mr. Perry. I um, will help out with the sprinters and coach the high jumpers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk just a little bit about just sort of kind of piggyback on Coach Sanders' work ethic. Uh, one of the things that I love about 
coaching in general, but I think it really shows up in track is track is absolutely a process oriented sport. Okay. So like Joel, Joel Embiid says, trust the process. Okay. You, we want to be at our best at the region of state meet. Okay. That's in May, which I know seems like a long way away. All right. Uh, many of you guys have been working through the winter. Some of you guys are starting day one on Monday. We'll get guys out from winter sports over the next few weeks. But every single, you are stacking up practices, workouts, um, so that we can be at our best in May. Um, so I just want to encourage you that now track season has begun. So everything that you do um, works to build our team up, make us better or not. Um, that, in, that includes how you eat, how you rest, the amount of water you're taking in, how hard you work when we have spring break or maybe a President's Day weekend where we have days off. Do you do the workouts on your own or not? Okay, so all that, that process, okay, which in many ways has already started, but for sure on Monday begins and we want to be at our best. And I think we can look back at last year, last year's team and say, I think we were at our best when it counted the most. Um, and so, you know, my mantra has always been, I want you to do your best, period. Um, and if you do that, I think great things will happen. Uh, but it's easier said than done. It's easy to talk about doing your best in February. Um, the sun's out on um, a nice day. It's a lot harder to do it day after day after day through the whole season. But if we do that, as we've seen in the past, we're going to be really proud when we look back at this team. Okay, so you guys probably have more power than I do, than maybe even Coach Pippen, in terms of encouraging one another in practice. Okay, when you see a teammate who's struggling, pick them up. When you see a teammate who's maybe loafing, push them a little bit. Um, you guys have lots of power within yourself, within this team, to help us to be at our best day after day after day through the process so that we can be at our best in May. Most of you know I've been teaching and coaching since 1902. And if you come to class, AP Bio, and you don't have a binder, you don't have a calculator, you don't have a book, you're not prepared. Well, it's the same in track. Every day, well, the weather's not going to be like this uh, through March, y'all. This is probably, we won't have a meet that the weather's this nice until April. You need to bring cold weather, rain gear, hats, gloves every day. Have a bag. In water bottles. You, you all know that the uh, access to water is not very good. Uh, technique day, you need spikes. Later in the year, you're going to need spikes to run fast and run fast in practice. In terms of uh, clothing in the weight room, most of you know by now you're supposed to wear NBA gear if at all possible. If not, then uh, gray and cardinal clothes. Uh, and I don't really want to see anybody in uh, anything that's a big red Alabama thing. In terms of shoes, it's really embarrassing to see George out there trying to run in uh, dock sides. So go ahead and make sure if, if you don't have a pair of shoes that you have bought in 2024, you probably ought to go get some. We don't beat other teams by out-talenting them. We beat them by doing the right things every day from now through the state meet. I'm proud to be here. So, so guys, um, going on what Coach Pruitt said about gear, your first year on this team, I'm going to give you a hoodie. Your third year on this team, I'm going to give you a hoodie. If you lose your hoodie between them, you need to take care of that because every day you need a hoodie and pants to warm up in every day. I know distance runners do something a little different. If you're a thrower or a sprinter, I want you in full gear every day, and you're going to get those, um, those from me. Everybody's going to get a short sleeve t-shirt um, from us this year. 
And um, if you need compression shorts when race time comes, we'll do that in jerseys. Um, there is going to be a, a gear store opening on Friday morning for track and field gear. If you have any needs or wants or desires, that, that store will stay open for a week and then close. And hopefully we'll get that gear right after spring break. So um, you'll get that link next week. Coach, Pruitt, I mean, Coach Russ, sorry. One of those other everyday things, uh, we have an amazing gift in the facilities that we have, and we need to take care of it. Uh, the locker room is kind of crazy, um, and, and that's fine. You know, it's a crowd in there every afternoon. Um, please take good care of it. So don't leave trash around. Take care of your gear. Uh, if you need a locker, uh, see, see me or talk to... Um, you know, if you have a locker but you can't get into it because somebody locked it previously, um, Coach Cheevers or Vernaccio can help you with that. Uh, but we have, I mean, that, that facility is incredible. Let's take good care of it. And, and again, that's one of those little things. The, you, you do the little things right day after day after day, and it adds up and, and contributes to the sort of mentality that you want to have. Um, leave things better than you found them. Be a good steward. One of the things that we'll do this season towards the beginning of the track season is do a day of service. That's going to take place on March 2nd, uh, not, I think it may say February 25th on your agenda, but that's going to be on March 2nd, which is a Saturday. We're going to help with um, a walk and race that's organized by one of our NBA track alumni, a man named Alex Waddy, and it's to benefit and raise awareness for colon cancer, which is a disease that affects a lot of people and that his wife uh, died from a few years ago. His son is actually a seventh grader here at NBA. Um, so some of the things that we'll do will help with set up and break down of the event, man a water station, help with timing, and also distributing some you know, promotional materials before that. There will be an email or a Google form going out to you to see if you can attend that day. Uh, Saturday, March 2nd, it's right over here on the McCabe Greenway. But it's something, one, really good to do for your community and also a great way to spend some time with your teammates before the season really gets going. So be on the lookout for that, and we'll probably break you into some groups for the different jobs there. But just be aware of that, March 2nd, Saturday. Okay, guys, I'm about to spew up. A whole bunch of information at you really quick so we're trying to get you out of here one if you leave school early I don't get an email that tells me you signed out of school so I'm standing on the track in the afternoon yelling where is so-and-so where is so-and-so we as coaches are responsible for your well-being you're assigned to us after school it's our responsibility to make sure you're safe after school so if you don't show up for practice and we don't know where you are it's our responsibility to make sure you're safe, which takes time away from all of the people at practice because we have to go find you. So please, if you sign out, let one of us know that you signed out and went home so we're not spending time after school when we should be training everybody else looking for you because you're at home. So please let us know that um, in advance. If you're going to miss practice, we need to know. If you're not on the absentee list, I need to see your face or hear from you or one of our coaches do. So please take care of that. Um, please do your best to schedule tux fittings, haircuts, and all that after practice. Um, it, it's really hard to do handoffs when two people left to go get haircuts and one person's picking up his tux for prom. So uh, again, that goes back to the commitment for, to your teammate, mem, teammates. Um, please be at practice. Uh, the ACT falls in the spring on Doug Hall. So I, it would be amazing if you could sign up for the ACT here during the school day instead of the one on April 13 that's on Doug Hall. If you can manage that, that'd be awesome because we need all of you that day at Doug Hall. Um, Monday practice starts, again, if you're in a winter sport, we'll set your start date based on when your, when your winter's, winter team finishes. Um, but if you're not in a winter sport, we will see you on Monday. We will meet every day. Um, uh, and you need to have your gear every day starting Monday. Coach, Coach Miramore, talk about what to do when you're hurt. Uh, guys, when you're hurt, we'll be meeting every single day 
uh, 15 minutes after school dismisses at the steps of the squash courts right there. So we will all meet there as an entire team every day. Uh, we'll go over any announcements that we need to, and then we'll head out to the track to start the warm up. Even if you are hurt or injured and you know you're not going to be coming to practice, please stay there for that meeting and then check in with a coach before you go to the training room. Don't just go to the training room as soon as you get out for school. Cause then again, we're going to run into the same problem where we're out there on the track going, where's so-and-so, where's so-and-so. So just hang out there for the meeting and then you can walk 10 steps over to the training room. Yes, please. Don't kind of wander off into the lobby um, while we're talking. Get to that meeting. Everybody needs to be a part of it. There's important things that are covered there. Yeah. Okay. Um, the rest of this is really quick. One, there's a signing tomorrow. We have two guys signing tomorrow. If you're able to get yourself up and get here tomorrow morning, the signing's at 8.30. We have two track guys signing. It'd be awesome for you to support your teammates tomorrow. That's in the theater at 8.30. Um, You'll hear this again, but uh, the day of Totemoy, February 26th, you'll be in coat and tie. We're going to take our picture right after the assembly that day while you're in coat and tie. I'll remind you that as we get, get going. But if you're in a winter sport, just keep that in mind. Um, I have schedules for you to take with you on your way out. There are hard copies. I'm also going to email it to you. If you are not getting emails from me, and if you did not get a text just before this meeting, could you let me know that either by email or telling me before you leave? If you're not getting emails and you did not get a text from me, please let me know. Coach, is anything else? Yeah. Um, can y'all? There, there are going to be coaches with hard copies of the schedule at the back, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Well, we're going to talk about that. Like, yeah. 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 yeah.